Yes, not the ring, this. It means when I went to the club. <laughs> Monday is a monthly favorites video for you guys. There's a lot of products I have to talk about. Some of them are affordable, including these glasses on my forehead. I'll get to that later. Let's start off with makeup though. March was such a big month for me. I celebrated my four year anniversary with my boyfriend. We went to the forest and log cabin. I went to some meet and greets with Pixie and Nyx and Taja, so many things. And I picked up some things while I was at the events that are my favorites. And they're not just my favorites because they're not paying me to talk about it. And not just because I went to the event because they actually work. There's two products I've been adding to my skincare. Adding skincare to me is a dangerous situation because it can break me out. I have sensitive skin. If there's a lot of scent in something, I have a lot of like red hard bumps all over my face. It's not cute. And uh, I eliminated this mist I think that was causing it, but I don't think this caused it and it's one of my monthly favorites and I hope it's not causing it. This is the Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream. She is expensive. I mean, I have to support my Japanese people and this is a Japanese company, Tatcha. They have these little gold spoons that are actually decor that turn into spoons and then you scoop out in a sanitary way the amount of moisturizer. I love using this at night. It's ultra hydrating for sure. Anti-aging, replenishing Japanese pure rice for dry skin and I have super dry skin. Yes. <laughs> I thought I was calm, but I think I'm a legit, just straight up dry girl. Dry as can be. Also because I took Accutane when it was really bad for me and it was a high dose back in the day. When I first started YouTube, I took that and it changed my skin. But this is replenishing my skin, making it super plump. Speaking of hydrating, when I was in the snowy mountains, that saved my life and so did this for my lips. But the problem with huge lips is that they get dry and cracked super fast, super easy all the time. And I need like a chapstick spray if they ever had that. But since they don't have chapstick spray, I opted for this. If you haven't joined the lip oil community, at first I was like, this feels like honey syrup on my lips but then when you like lick them they don't stick to your tongue or go in your mouth this is like magic for my lips you can't kiss many boyfriends or other people when you're on this stuff but it's so good it smells amazing I went through almost half this tube I'd say a third of this tube in two weeks so I don't know how long these are gonna last I need more of them I got this from Ulta Beauty brand juice infused lip oil I got the scent cranberry pomegranate it smells magical they have other scents these go out of stock fast so get your hands on it Tarte has one I want to try but this was a lot cheaper I was so excited when I heard Jay Kissa was collaborating with elf cosmetics because I love and stand for their $5 new concealer the 16 hour camel one is bomb this this is the new elf Jay Kissa collaboration and let me tell you something <laughs> These colors are amazing. I didn't expect a lot out of this, but I love, I fell in love with the color story first. This shade is giving me life. This and this remind me of Beetlejuice. I did this look with that, those, these three. They blend so easily. They're smooth like butter, but they're not so smooth so that they flake onto your cheekbones because we don't like that. This is so, so good. And it's super affordable, I'm sure, because it's e.l.f. If you're a beginner at makeup and you want to play with color and you're used to neutral colors, and you're not great at blending, I would highly suggest adding this. Whenever someone's not like comfortable with wearing bold colors, I would put it like I did here today in my waterline or just on that bottom lash line and the rest neutral just to start playing with color. Another eyeshadow palette, I did this bomb look of the Leprechaun Day. St. Patrick's Day <laughs> look. I used this palette by ColourPop, the Just My Luck palette. Okay, green eyeshadows are so underrated. I have the Emerald, I think it's called, Huda Beauty Story of Little Eyeshadow Palettes, that this one knocks that out of the park, okay? This is so good. If you, do, if you love green eyeshadow, Sis, this is good. I absolutely loved this. There's another ColourPop that I have to mention. 
and I've only swatched them and played with them on my eyes a little bit, but I'm filming a video for it. Is that ColourPop Villains collaboration? Each villain has their own thing. The Dr. Facilier. Oh my gosh, his lip gloss, and I'm not gonna get it right now because it's a huge thing, and I'm actually filming with it and have it over there on the other side of the room to film with it because I've been playing with it off camera and the palette is so gorgeous. It's huge so it's weird for me to bring it. Let me get the eyeshadow palette. Just this eyeshadow palette alone, everything in that collaboration is amazing but this misunderstood eyeshadow palette for this gold alone, this color too, look at that gold. Oh my god this color when I do my whole video on that collection it'll be late but it's gonna be worth it because I'm planning a whole design on my face with it I went through the whole thing there's some things I'm not happy about that collection with some stuff but that eyeshadow palette alone is the best thing in the whole in the whole business let's go on to liquid eyeshadows because tis the month of liquid eyeshadows I got this in a boxy charm this is the appeal liquid eyeshadow in the color rose gold i'm pretty sure yeah she's rose gold i use this if i you saw my gucci look on instagram for the g's i use this to do the detail of those g's so pretty and it feels so nice it's not sticky it like dries down nice. I love the size of how much product you get in here. And another liquid eyeshadow, I've talked about Pixie by Petra's Fairy Lights before. This is in the color Lagoon, and I'm wearing it today. Who are you fighting with this eye look? I just put some black eyeshadow with a black liner, some false lashes and this, and it's an eye look. Like It looks like I spent a lot of time. I didn't spend a lot of time. I did this on a live on Instagram, but this is like, the Mermaid Lagoon in Peter Pan in a liquid eyeshadow bottle. So much goodness in it. It makes me sad to even swatch it. It's so good because like I'm wasting product. Let's talk about lips. There's so many lipsticks I'm obsessed with this month. The lip combo I'm wearing right now is my favorite lip stuff. This is the Bite Beauty Lipstick in Meringue. I love Bite Beauty because they, you could practically eat them. They're like all natural and it smells like lemon meringue pie. It's such the great type of mauve pink that you love. This certain color with the gloss, like the Too Faced gloss, the pretty rich ones, but this is my new favorite gloss. It's from Cookie by Pixie by Petra. Let's look at Cookie alone. She's like this hot, she's like a shimmery pink. And on top of that meringue Bite Beauty, Oh, girl, she's on my lips right now. You can't, you can't tell me nothing. Speaking of great lipsticks, my favorite liquid lipstick brand of all time is Pixie and Ofra. Ofra came out with, these are little baby ones. Let me show you. This is the normal size and this is like the little baby ones, but they're not, they're bigger than the travel size, I feel like they sell. This is the color Stretch, and I wore this in my Gucci makeup video. Oh. They have this orange color that reminds me of Miami, Miami Fever, but it's called Urge. Might be a little darker than the Miami Fever um, Kathleen Lights collaboration with Ofra, but this color is so pretty. Again, I use that in my Gucci makeup that I did on Instagram. Those are just practices and it looks like... Okay, another makeup product that I got. I went to a NYX event and um, they gave us these and I'm wearing it right here on my inner corner, the blue one. The NYX Off Tropic Pro Liners. These things are so smooth, so creamy, so pigmented. Me and the makeup artist there were like shooketh, blown away. They had a pink, a light blue, a dark blue, and this green color. And they glide on, they stay on. Like this stayed on through drinks in a bar like all night and I'm just shook. Let's talk about the other things that I've been loving this month. I got these while I was on vacation and the guy sold me for way too much. I think I got this for 15 bucks. These are from China from wish.com. I found out that he got them from wish, but if you pay like the shipping and this, they're $7 on wish, I think five to $7 and I paid 15 for them. So with the shipping on other things, I call these my Laura Croft glasses cause they remind me of something Laura Croft would wear, but a little bit more steampunk with the edges. I just love them. I've been wearing them constantly this month. 
Speaking of Laura Croft, she was like my idol growing up and I always wanted to be her. I got these boots that remind me of her. They're combat boots from, I was surprised. I've been getting some shoes from Fashion Nova. These snakeskin, faux snakeskin, of course, all fake, but they're so nice. I'm wearing a size nine. I have big feet for my height, but these, are so cute and comfy. Even with the dress, I've worn these events to a dress and people like, sis, your outfit's on point. And I think it's also because the shoes, because they could be dressed up with like a, some, like a spring summer dress. Those are my spring shoes. I know I'm crazy. I absolutely love them. Love the way they look with like my Victorian-esque style of dresses and my southwestern type of style. I have to talk about leggings. I turned into like a legging whore. <laughs> Everyone has that best friend growing up that turns them towards leggings because they're so comfortable. They look super cute. My boyfriend actually thinks leggings look cute on me. I have other guys I dated or other guys I've been with who like don't like leggings. I'm like, they're so comfortable, but my boyfriend now thinks they're so cute. And I found these leggings on Amazon. They're by the brand, is it J or I-U-G-A? I don't know because I want, oh, I-U-G-A. I think I got them in a large. What I love about these is they're super comfortable. I think they're for working out yoga pants, but they have pockets on both sides, on the sides of your legs. And so now when I wear regular leg leggings that don't have pockets, and I wanna stick my hands in them for warmth or my phone in it, I get super disappointed because they don't have pockets like this one. And it just feels so comfortable and nice. Another thing I have to talk about, oh my gosh, let me tell you guys, I was screaming and barely sleeping one night. Not out of fear, but out of pure joy because I talked about this in my last monthly favorites. I can't believe it. The Box of Oddities, my all time favorite podcast of literally all time because it's about odd history, odd curiosities and objects and things they find out, which I grew up on in a family where we went antiquing and thrifting and weird stuff. Like I, my family is so weird and like they would love this podcast. Yes, 22 minutes in the episode 108 called This One's a Bummer. They shout me out and they talk about me, open up my ColourPop uh, villains thing. They talked about all the villains makeup I did and I was so, I was screaming. I made my boyfriend listen to it over and over with me. And it, I cannot tell you how many, I've even gone back and re-listened to episodes. I've listened to every single episode this podcast has come up with. I love it so much. I, I have nothing else to say. I had to mention it again, even though I mentioned it in last month's monthly favorites, because it's, it's like if you're watching your favorite show on Disney Channel and your face pops up in the show and they talk about how talented and beautiful you are. Like, what? Anyways, that was my monthly favorites. Leave a comment down below. If you have any cool like podcasts or makeup products, definitely, that you want to wear this spring or buy or that you recommend, I would love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Subscribe for more videos on Makeup Mondays and Effects Fridays. We do two different videos, creepy and cute. Oh, I'm working on so many things. I know I always say that, but oh my gosh, so much good things. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.